can imagine uh, playing at the old uh, uh, Bedford, Bedford High School with the, the run and running around stuff like that. You couldn't shoot from the side of the thing. If you ever had a bloody zone, zone back then, oh my God. I don't think anybody get a shot off. You know? Fairhaven, you know, Fairhaven, the old, the old gym in Fairhaven, who was so, <coughs> the ceiling was so low, you couldn't take a regular shot. <laughs> you had to shoot a line drive. <laughs> I don't know how tall it was, but it wasn't very tall. Oh, so so why do you think your brother was so successful? Well, he used to he just, just work at it. Just work at it. And, you know, he did it basically. He wanted, he wanted to use my father's car in the, in the evening. He was out there in July sweating his cookies off. My father says, you want the car? You got you to practice. Because he knew I... Did he like that or was he resentful? No, 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 no. Won the one year they won the state uh, championship. Won the state championship. Another year they lost in the finals. In uh, Jackie Harrington. Hey, he had a scholarship to go to uh, go to Boston College. A four, four year scholarship. Why did he turn it down? Well, because he wanted to go to Holy Cross, and my father had season tickets to Holy Cross for twenty years. Did he go watch Bob Cousy? Oh, we we saw Bob Cousy when he was a freshman. You know, stuff like that. When they weren't even eligible to play. So what was the, the, the CCNY, what was that deal there, NCAA, oh, that NIT? Was, that, was, that was bad news, yeah, bad news. We saw all those games, you know, Boston, uh, not Boston, New York Garden. That's Mess with Garden. Garden? Oh, yeah, yeah, we saw all those games that were fixed. They weren't really fixed, they just uh, point shaping. <laughs> same thing, same thing. Uh, you know what I miss, you know, you, you know what I miss somehow? Boston College. Remember the... Uh, the big scandal they had there in 78, 79. I don't know if I was even aware of that. Is that with Tom Davis? I don't even know. He's a home coach too. Tom Davis is a home coach. He really was a good coach. So I'm coaching at the Lafayette. This guy, Jerry Carvino from the Stang, went to Lafayette for a four year scholarship there. So, so, so how was Oscar Robinson? Uh, one time he saw him get 50 points. 50? Oh, yeah. Did you see him CCNY and NIT? I mean, uh, not in CCNY, I'm they, sorry. I, I, saw, I saw both. They played, they, they played at the Madison Square Garden. NIT, you know, was bigger than the NCAA, you know that? Right. Yeah, it was, okay? So I saw, I saw all those games. Because they had the same place, Madison Square Garden. I saw all those games that were fixed. Sheehan White from LIU, I think it was. Did you, did, didn't I ever give you a book on all that? No. Oh, shit. I think I did. Are you sure I didn't? About the, <laughs> about the scan. I mean, I had that somewhere. I could, I, I could send for that. I, I get it. It's like, a, you know, a buck and a, a four or five dollars for a postage. You should, you should know about that. You should. Everybody should know about that. Jeez, I did. I did have that because I remember Shannon White was a hell of a player. So besides Oscar Robinson, was he the best you ever saw? Oh, he was, yeah. Oh, yeah. That caught me in anyway. How would you compare to Michael Jordan? Well, a whole different ball game, a whole different, you know. Michael Jordan basically was, uh, you know, he developed his outside shot, Michael Jordan. But he really didn't have that shot. You know, Who's the better shooter, Oscar or Michael? Oh, Oscar. Oscar is that shooter. What about... Oscar and Kareem playing together. Who's better, Oscar or Kareem? <laughs> you can't compare them two. Why can't you compare them? <laughs> you can't compare them. If I, if I had a choice, I mean, I'd go with the big man. I'd go with uh, Kareem. Kareem? Yeah. So would you take Kareem over MJ? Are you going to take him over maybe, Oscar? Maybe. Yeah, maybe I would. Maybe I would. I mean, I would go with the big man, wouldn't you? Big man can't get the ball without the guards. <laughs> yeah, but... Hey, Bill Russell got the ball. Nobody else could rebound with Bill Russell. Would you take Kareem or Bill? No, I take Kareem. You take Kareem over Bill Russell. The thing is, you know, too, I'd also take Magic Johnson over Larry Bird. Take MJ uh, Magic over uh, Larry. Yeah, would you take Magic over uh, Oscar? Probably not. Probably not. So you take Oscar over Magic. <laughs> But then you take it's Kareem. Well, you hey, take Kareem over. You take Kareem over everybody. Just about. Just about, yeah. But yeah. what? What does that have to do with the color of skin? 
Why, why, why do you think people see much so, see so much color? I never did, thank God. I don't know. I don't know. You're born with that. You know, my 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 grandmother was a, one of the finest people ever to put two people two people two feet two feet on the earth. When when John used to hang out with Dan Baruti, you know, and my grandmother was still alive, she said to uh, John like when you you far. So I said, no, no, Grammy, you're not black, you're, you're, you're Lebanese. Yeah, you're she was born that way. But prejudice, it was, it was ingrained. Well, I mean, you think you're saying, you're saying you're developed that way, though. We're not oh, yeah. born she, racist. She, she, was, she, she was born. She was born a racist. But you, you, she didn't know it, though. No, 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 no. Hold up. Back up a second. Go, Hold go, up. Go ahead. So you're telling me that when I came out of mommy's womb, I'm going to be racist or not racist versus... you're brought up that way. Yeah, if you develop, that's what I'm saying. That's it's right. learned. That's right. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, well, I'm yeah. saying, but you're not born that way though. I'm saying it's developed, no, learned no, no, versus no, born. No. So the, 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 hold on. So let's back up. <laughs> so you're saying it's learned, developed versus yep. being born. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And she was a she was a fine person, but that's uh, that's the way she thought. And I think I think that often, like you know, people saying, I mean, everybody has prejudices. I mean, I get prejudiced not so. It, it's not color wise though. It's not. It's not black or white. I mean, I'm prejudiced against the guys that are lazy bastards. He should be out working <laughs> instead of taking money from the government. That's my prejudice. Although you know, he's a lazy bloody lump. <laughs> You're not getting any mercy from me, buddy. <laughs> How much money do you think as a guidance counselor that you helped uh, people earn discounts, scholarships, academically, oh, or to athletically? Me. What would you guess? I, I just pointed things out to them, and they they did it themselves. I'm saying, but still, you're still part of that team. How much do you think? Yeah, you know, all I don't know. I have no. <laughs> I never put five I never million, put fifty million, a hundred million. I never, I never, never ever thought about it. I never thought about why? it. Why? Why? Because that's it. I mean, you know, once once they they graduated, then who are the next school? One of those things. And you know, I mean, I I still have the, you know friendships with a lot of a lot of people. I mean, Amanda Martinez did. Was she part of your class? Hmm. Uh, she just got married, you know. She just got married. Mm. What's the matter with Amanda? Something came back? No, I just remember that. Whew. I came home from Salem State before Christmas. And we did, we did judge, like, pre-Christmas shopping, like, four hours before the mall closed. Mm -hmm. I have no idea who the girl was. And you said... Whatever her name was, Sally, Jennifer, and she come up, and remember Lauren was there, and you were about to go to Barnes and Noble, and she just started, she just started crying for gratitude, how much you helped her, and you deflected the praise. I was like, Whoa. I was probably, I was probably amazed. <laughs> amazed. No, but you just said, hey, such, such, like, Mr. O'Connor. She starts crying. She introduced the, the, her two kids, one kid, whatever it was. She had kids and everything? Oh, man. Oh, no kidding. Oh, my God. This is uh, 1990. I remember I when I came home from that. Salem State. I was like, I always remember that story. No, I do. Wow. Yeah, I get a letter. I get a letter from a kid that graduated uh, from Stang four or five years ago. What year did he graduate? Uh, uh, thank you, but thank you, brother. Twenty nine years ago. What did it say in it? Twenty nine. Oh, just just thanking me because I took I took her and her, her girlfriend to a uh, to a uh, a meeting that they they had at the Salve Regina, and I uh, I drove to uh, to uh, to Salve with them. And they were so grateful and stuff like that, and they get scholarships and things. Both, both became nurses. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. Went to went to, went to South and both became nurses. They loved it there. Absolutely loved it there. So where do they live now? Yeah. Ooh, your mother might know better than I. But so look at this. If I, I, I have to re reveal, remember her, her name. This is over, over well over thirty years ago now. God, she's in her fifties now for crying out loud. Maybe even sixty or something. But 
she was just, you know, grateful, you know, just thanking me. One of those things. So, you know, it doesn't usually happen. What do you think about uh, your 49th wedding anniversary on Monday? Just another day away. <laughs> another day. I don't want anything quite, if I, if we get to the 50th, I don't want to have any, like, the big thing we had uh, for the, what, the 40th or something, whatever it was. Why? I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not even, uh, even friendly with those people. I don't even, uh, you know, like, uh, like, uh, <coughs> the golfers and things like that. And even, like, all the people who used to invite, uh, to your, uh, your, your parties and stuff. I mean, I, I haven't seen those people in years. Why do you think we do those parties? Why? Yeah. Why? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Because it's uh, you know just letting 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 people uh, get together and uh, and seeing you and uh, you know instead not of, me huh that wasn't the purpose no not if so it was just me, if, if it was just if it was it was gratitude and because of love yeah because the only time we were, I kept telling mom I said the only reason we would see people is weddings and funerals when else do we yeah, see people true. besides yeah it's true besides weddings and funerals when else do we see people yeah no you know that's right that's right yeah. All those people no longer with us either. All the people from uh, from the guidance department that have died over the last uh, 15, 20 years, something like that. It's awful. Yeah. Like Danny, Danny Sheehan, and, uh, and Bill Fazal, uh, Chuck, uh, Chuck Woodward. Uh, I don't know if you even knew her though. Uh, this girl, uh, I don't even forget my friggin' name. I know Mrs. Cross and Mrs. Uh, La Liberty. Miss Our Liberty, love you, love you guys. <coughs> the hell with her name, I can't think of her name. God, she died of cancer. She was only in her 50s. <coughs> yeah, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of them died. Holy crap. You know, in their 50s. You fear dying? No, no, not really. No. I don't want to, I don't want to, yeah, I fear of a lingering uh, disease uh, go down to about 70, 80 pounds. Yeah, that's, that's what I, I would not like. I don't fear it. I don't. I don't worry about it. Yeah, I could go anytime. You know, it's with my heart and things like that. Any regrets? Huh? No, no, not really. No. You know, I was even talking to Charlie Helliak on the on the phone uh, uh, yesterday, and uh, didn't talk, really talk about dying or anything like that. These people with these uh, with these lists, uh, bucket lists, and stuff like that. I said, you know, if they haven't done these things and they're in their sixties and seventies, <laughs> so it's too late. They're too old to enjoy these things. If you're on a bucket list, like I've done everything I've I really wanted to do. I can't think of anything that uh, I, like I have a bucket list. I'm not gonna have a bucket list. I've already done that. I've, I've done everything. You know, really, really have. I've really done everything. And you, you know, you, you, you're too old to enjoy things. So if you have anything now that you think you'd like to do, do it now. Do it now. No, don't, don't think why, do, why do you think people don't have a bucket list but don't act upon it? Well, I think they keep putting it off. Life why? comes, life comes, you know, intrudes. Life intrudes on, on people what they uh, what they what they want to do a lot of times, what they're thinking about doing. You know, even simple things now. If I think about it, I do it right away. What about put it off. what about fear versus faith? Procrastinate, put it off. Yeah, well, I, I think everybody puts things off. I would. Guys, how often do guys put it off going to the doctor when they don't feel this or feel that or something's wrong? They put it off. They don't want to know what the hell's wrong because they think it might be a, the big C. You know, it might be something really bad. Guys are guys are sorry. Women aren't too much better a lot of times, but you know, and they get uh, you know they get things to do like uh, you know it'll go away. It'll be okay. And you know something, it ain't going away. <laughs> Not always. It doesn't always go away. Mm. I said, told Dr. Zuck, I said, I don't, I don't get any pain, you know, I get a heart attack. He said, no, I said, I know that. He said, some people are like that. He said, not many of it's done. I said, but if you ever feel like your arms are like tired and stuff like that, you have a yard when you come in. <laughs> you get to, you know, call 911, get the hell into the hospital. He's a good guy. I think he was in for 27 years. My first heart attack, I, you know, I was 52 years old. You trust him. Yeah, I did. Nice guy. I don't get office hours. I, just, I think he has an office hours once a week now, so he said. I think your mother said he found out. Or she found out that he only has it uh, once a week. So he's really weaning himself down. Yeah. It's been around a while. 
Ivanovich is up there. 